All right, hang with me on this one, folks. I might be all over the map, but anyhow, we're only down to one legitimate football team around here, and we've yet to have a hard freeze. The Chiefs and Missouri haven't been any good from the get-go. Kansas is never any good. All we have is K-State, the only team worth cheering for. Soccer, well, sporting Kansas City is the best team in the league, but I'm just not into singing for two hours at a sporting event. Plus, I had a bad experience at my last game. I went to the restroom and missed the game's only score. Anyhow, that brings me to exhibition basketball. I marvel at how KU fans go cuckoo. I mean cuckoo over a glorified practice scrimmage. A sellout crowd over 16,000 at Mount Orient. My Twitter deck started lighting up with thought-provoking stuff like, it's only three hours to tip off. It's a freaking exhibition game against a D2 school for crying out loud. And oh, by the way, schools like KU and MU and the other big boys pay huge amounts to the likes of Washburn and Emporia State so they can take a public whipping. Most of these games are nothing but full-blown blowouts. They're nothing more than cash grabs for the big universities. The 18, 19, 20-year-old college basketball players are treated like rock stars on campus. Bill Self has already had to reel in Elijah Johnson, the biggest star on the team. Johnson reportedly was, quote, substantially late to class. So Self embarrassed the senior point guard by not starting him in front of all those, well, the thousands of Allen Fieldhouse crazies in the opening exhibition game. It's not just KU. Going to class has become an issue for many players. At Missouri, Frank Haith suspended Michael Dixon for a game because of academic misstep. You know, there really is a way to solve this problem, folks. Start paying these players a decent stipend. If they skip class, they don't get paid. I'll guarantee you they'll show up for class. That's Gexmax.